This was a scavenger hunt type thing, or not a hunt, but a scavenger list. And you had to incorporate each item on the list into your, your spread. And so there were feathers and a song lyric and a bird and a key. And so yeah, the, this here, this here tells you, tells you what it was and what the list was and stuff. But anyway, it's, um, I, I hope someday, that's the printer behind me. Um, someday I hope to do a lot more of the Art Geeks prompts because it's fun and it's neat. Um, but I have so many other things on my creative to-do list right now that, yeah, I'm not sure when that will happen. This was um, that from that page before where I, I had gone for a walk and I picked up some stuff. I had found two or three pieces of puzzle, the, the foam type of puzzle pieces, and I thought that it made a really neat stamp, and so I just did this page up just, just to use the stamp that I turned it into. There we go, that was a better impression. So, I really love bubbles, but this didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. This was an experiment. These are pieces of, of uh, tissue paper that was done on March 11th of 2012. And this was... Um, I wanted to try and do, I, there was a rusted piece of metal that I had found and I wanted to see what I could do and this is um, PVA glue and marker on top and then pens and stuff. She was in a floor tile. Mystery Warrior Princess, is, it says here. Um, and these, I stamped, I used the um, tied bit okay, so of, the, of a balloon uh, and, and used it as a stamp. That makes a really stamp. cool, neat stamp. And that's kind of cool. The, it makes a neat stamp, kind of like a flower or a, just a, a neat design thing. And then... And then you yeah, color it in with, with watercolor, uh, watercolor, and it makes pencils. pretty things. And this one. Um, so a lot of people were going through a lot of bad things, uh, very serious health issues, uh, mourning the loss of love, having depression issues, and. Just all kinds of stuff. And so just a lot of people that I care about and love were going through some very hard times. And so I just decided to incorporate all of that into this and sort of, this sort of was like a, a greeting card for all of them. Um, and really this is, this kind of stuff, it, it still applies today, so. And this was March 15th of 2012 that I did this. And this... I believe this... Okay, so I was doodling while Effie was streaming. Oh. I was trying out my Copic marker. I have only the one black Copic marker. Um, and I have decided that I don't like Copics very much. So anyway, but this <laughs> um, 
and then I liked back here so all I did was highlight it a little bit with my white gel pen um, and I made the, the ladybugs but anyway um, I liked the, the what it looked like with the bleed through like this and so I just left it like that and here this is this is that balloon again and this I used a um, elastic rubber band uh, okay now this is what I had used but um, you can see the the ink but they're kind of they're not flexible anymore so I don't know it might actually work better this way but um, they were still nice and soft and malleable uh, when I had used them for the page but this is uh, my color box uh, ink pad and it just yeah it doesn't work as well when it's hmm let me go find a different okay we'll see how these work um, I think the longer the bigger one would be better but anyway so just kind of let it do whatever it wants to do press it in the ink and see you get pretty subtle but pretty designs and now this one it gets messy because you get it all over your fingers but see simple but neat it's neat to see and this is literally a rubber stamp because it's <laughs> it's a rubber band but <laughs> and I wonder wonder what it would look like if I use that side Oh, neat. To, to use it as a stamp just to put, you know, just to make neat, interesting shapes and see what came out of it. And now that I'm looking at it, this one in particular, if I did a bunch of this in a circle, that would make a, ni a nice flower, like circle it around one of these maybe or something. Neat. Okay, this was an Art Geek prompt. This, you had to draw an item that you use every day uh, from memory. And so what I did is, I did, I tried to do the pattern on the table, my art table, my camera, this guy, and my water mug which I would show you, but it's at home, um, and an apple, uh, a Macintosh apple. <laughs> On this side is what I was doing. Anyway, so... <laughs> yeah, those Art Geek prompts are really fun. They're, they're neat challenges. My birthday last year! <laughs> I, I often will do a piece... Uh, for myself on my birthday. It's kind of a tradition. Um, this is a, this girl here is inspired by Tracy Bautista. Inspired by this book uh, by Tracy Bautista. And this was, I believe, while Effie was streaming. Yes, I did these while 